Save the party. So the party's hanging by a thread. We got to get rid of Biden to save the country. The party's hanging by a thread. You got to save the party. Listen, no more QAnon. No more mad nonsense. No more debt ceiling nonsense. Come on now. Save the party. Save America. Save the children. Save the country. Do something about guns. Right. So close the border. Invest in the border. Save the children. The border. The border. What about the children? Hey, where are all the kids? Where are all the migrant children? You guys lost them. We're accepting them. We love them. No, you've lost them. We love the migrant children. We've been lost them. You can't find them. What, what are you That's talking your about? What are you talking about? Yeah, migrant children are missing. You don't know the no, news. No, no, we don't know the news. Oh, you're sadly missing before. Hey, let me tell you Listen, something, Jamal. Listen, I need you to Not save the party. Not very smart. <laughs> you should pay attention. She ain't worth it, bro. Save the party. She ain't worth it, bro. She ain't worth it. <laughs> Do your freaking job, Marjorie Taylor Greene. You don't need to be in New York City talking that nonsense. Go back to your district. You're not, what are you doing here? You're here for politics. You're here because you want to be VP. You're here for your own fundraising. You're here for your own nonsense. Allows teachers to carry. Carry guns? Would you, would you, would you more guns lead to more death? Would you more guns data? lead to more death. Look at the data. You're not looking at any data. The you're the, you're the carrying the water for the gun lobby. No, no, Look at the data. More guns lead to more deaths. No, states that have open carry laws have more deaths. In every school states that, that have open carry laws have more deaths. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah, calm down. Yeah, that's a, what calls their you. children are dying? Nine-year-old children. Yeah, and the solution is not arming teachers. That's have you ever worked in a school? Have you ever worked in a school? Have you ever worked in a school? Oh, man. We got to talk about Jamal Bowman, you know, part of the squad. Yeah. One of the squad members, okay? Because, um... You know, it's also quite interesting that he mentioned, you know, that he that he brought up the fact that, you know, he worked in a school. Have you worked in a school? You know, um, that's pretty interesting. But uh, the reason why we got to talk about the squad member Jamal Bowman is because it seems like uh, Jamal won't be in Congress anymore. <laughs> yeah, the squad is getting broken up because he's not the only one. So stick around. <laughs> I just think it's absolutely hilarious, you know, shouting and screaming. Oh my goodness. That's all he ever does is just shout and scream. But, um, you know, it's, it's funny that he mentioned, uh, he worked in a school because school teachers would know what a fire or school principals. Um, I believe he was a principal, uh, would know what a fire alarm is. Mm hmm. Y'all, y'all, y'all remember what Jamal Bowman did? If you didn't, here's a little refresher. Exhibit A, this is Jamal Bowman, yep, taking the signs down, yep, knocking it over, and pulling the fire alarm, but apparently he did not know, uh-huh, yeah, and he got off on that, which is also the crazy thing, um, no jail time at all, whatsoever, but let's move on to the real meat and potatoes of this all, because he is in a battle against uh, Latimer, Latimer, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, uh, in, a, in a primary race against another Democrat, of course. So in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really mean a whole lot. But I do think it is a funny story, considering, you know, the squad is always, you know, prancing around, yelling and screaming at folks, making a show of things and, um, Seems like they're getting broken up now, but uh, check it out. Pix11 is your local election headquarters, and right now we are unveiling an exclusive poll in the heated Democratic primary in New York's 16th Congressional District. Yeah, this is a race to represent parts of North Bronx and most of Westchester County. Pix11's Henry Rossoff joins us now with more on this poll. Henry. Aaron E. Kendis, incumbent Congressman Jabal Bowman and his challenger, Westchester County Executive George Latimer, have really begun to clash as we approach primary day, June 25th. And let's get right to our exclusive polling. It shows the County Executive Latimer 
with a fairly commanding lead. This is a survey of very likely voters. 48% of the voters said that he would be their choice. That's a 17-point advantage over sitting Congressman Bowman. And look at this. There is a fair number of undecided, 21%, but it would take almost all of those voters to side with Bowman for us to uh, really, you know, have a, a much closer race here. Let's get into the demographics of this because I think diving in really shows the base of support here is very different. You have Congressman Bowman really getting 44% of those in this survey under the age of 40 and 48% of black voters. Very different when you look at Mr. Latimer. If we'll page over there, you'll see that the over 40 number is at around 51% and white voters 62%. This is a majority white district, but it still is fairly diverse. Let's move on to the next page and we can show you some more things that we uncovered in this poll. The economy, like taxes, inflation, jobs, sitting at 22%. Housing affordability, closely related but distinctly different. And this is talked about a lot on the campaign trail at 21%. And threats to democracy uh, at 14% in this deeply democratic district. The winner of this primary likely expected to have an easier time in the general election. The other, can the other thing that's really animating this race is the war in Israel. And we asked voters how they aligned on that, which candidate they thought shared their values more on issues like ceasefire, aid to Israel, aid to Gaza civilians. A majority picked George Latimer again. 45% say he, they really align with him on Israel. 29% they say they line up with Jamal Bowman, who's gone so far as to say there's genocide happening right now in Gaza. And 26% are unsure how they're aligned. And then finally, let's do a quick roundup of the approval of other notable leaders in this survey. 69% say that they support President Biden. I will note that he got something or somewhere around 75 percent in the election but this is a pretty solid number it dips significantly to governor hokel and then dips a lot for mayor adams to be fair the bronx is not a huge part of this district so electorally this doesn't quite line up with him but obviously everyone's got an opinion about the the mayor of new york city Ernie and candace they do, they yes. do indeed yes. thank yes. you henry points do you think that's recoverable at all or no it, we will see there's a debate that uh could give an opportunity for anyone to make a change yeah. here so. yeah and as henry mentioned don't forget henry and picks on politics so yeah, George Latimer seems like he's going to beat out Jamal Bowman in the Democrat primary. <laughs> Which obviously they're both Democrats, so in the grand scheme of things, um, it doesn't really mean a whole lot. It's not like, you know, he's being pushed out by a Republican um, at this point in time. But it is funny, especially since he's not the only one. Corey Bush, who is also a part of the squad, seems to be in trouble as well. She's running against a Democrat in, um, uh, what's the guy's name? Um, I believe it's like Wesley. Let me see if I can find it again. Uh, Wesley Bell is the guy's name. And uh, she seems to be in trouble against him, too. And she's down double digits against another guy. Um, and in uh, George Latimer's case, he's more pro-Israel versus uh, the other side that Jamal Bowman continues to scream about constantly. So that's all also an interesting aspect of that whole thing. Um, I don't know if it has something to do with it. Maybe. Because Corey Bush is the same way. Um, so, yeah, we shall see. <laughs> I just think it's funny, you know, to watch these folks lose and get kicked out after all the screaming and yelling that they've both done. Goodness gracious. Can we get AOC out of there too next? Can, can we get AOC out? Uh, let's let's uh, elect. Oh, crap. I forgot the chick's name. The Republican chick that is uh, running against her in her district. Uh I think it's like Tina. <sighs> Let me see. Let me see. I think I follow her. Tina. Tina Forte. Yes. Tina Forte. This chick right here is running against AOC. Can, can we can we get her um in there over AOC, please? Please. <laughs> Can we just dismantle the whole squad? Get them all up out of there, coach. Get them all out of there. But as always, y'all let me know your thoughts, your opinions on all of this in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.